My name is Virginia Trask Morrill, and I'm telling my quilt story uh, at Maine Quilts 2018 in Augusta, Maine on Friday, July 27, 2018. This is presented by Pine Tree Quilters Guild, which I am a charter member, and this is their 41st quilt show. So you can tell I've been quilting for a long time. I'd like to tell you about my uh, little quilt here. This is called BP Blowout and Updates. Um, first, I want to say that my favorite quilt block is Log Cabin and its variations. And this is made of the variation called Courthouse Steps. And because I have a vision problem, I like to do paper piecing. So this is a sample of my paper piecing and I can see the black line really well. So I started this quilt a long time ago because it was going to be for my son and it was going to be a New Hampshire a state legislature building. But then for some reason it got to be a UFO, got pushed aside for some other challenge. But in April 20th, uh, 2010, the explosion of the Macondo well in uh, Florida, in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, explosion killed 11 rig members and spilled 500 million gallons of oil in the Gulf of Mexico. So because I had started this in blues, I thought, well, that will make a good uh, Gulf color. And then um, my friend helped me and we uh, painted the explosion part and I put washes uh, painted with a little black to represent all the other oil wells in the Gulf as well as all the debris and everything. And then to help people realize what it really was, I tried to do the um, outline of the states involved. Texas, Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. And I did this by taking um, yarns and threads and uh, pulling them through and then putting some little black paint around the edges to show where the debris was and the shells, etc. And it took a while to get this done. So by the time I did, it was 2011. And there were all kinds of updates about what was happening to the environment. And I wanted to make sure that that was recorded some way. So I took cards and had them uh, printed on fabric to show what the footprint of this tragedy did to our environment. And that's my BP blowout and updates quote.